69 on the clock, dude. And the fun begins. All right, welcome to the channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before, mate. We got another big one. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Breck and Beacons and a sneaky bit of Pembrokeshire, you know, you know, three to four to maybe even five days. And the good news, we only got 70 miles to go. And if you watched some of the last videos, you'll know that I was on about getting a roof box and rack for the car. Well, today's the day. 250 miles is the mission from Leicester to get it. But boy, oh boy, it's gonna be well worth it. This is gonna be an absolute game changer in a real sense of the word. And it may mean it might be able to head up to Scotland in about a month's time. We'll have to see how that one goes. Upgrades wise this week, I've got a couple, but I'll tell you a little bit more about them later. I've got a really cool looking car camping spot for the night and maybe a boffy to just take a look at and a real tasty hike if the weather holds out. It's predicted rain today and for the rest of the week about 80% precipitation. So fingers crossed we can get a few bits and snippets of blue sky, but for now, Let's get ourselves over there and to the spot. Well, six miles on the clock, we're nearly here, and the rain's come already. You know, <laughs> I had expected it. It's right on cue, to be fair. It's supposed to be here at three o'clock, and it's eight minutes to, so I guess you could call it good timing. I guess. <laughs> Beautiful area though. It's not wrecking it, man. Just gonna wrap up. No such thing as bad weather. Just bad weather clothes. So they tell me. Oh wow, check this out. We're actually entering an area. Oh mate, are you freaking kidding me? There's no way. Oh hang on, I might be able to pronounce it. Let's have a go. Sir Garfridden. Carmarthenshire. Carmarthenshire, yeah. Oh mate, I'm not gonna take the pit up. It looks spectacular. Look at it. Ah. Another week, another adventure, and I've got to tell you, I'm feeling blessed. I really am. And big shout out to you guys, you know, because I know some of you say on the channel like in the comments, yeah, wicked, you got me out doing stuff. Well, you guys got me out doing stuff. Let me tell you that, because without the YouTube channel still going the way it does. I probably wouldn't be out here every week doing this, so big shout out to you guys, you know. Great community, and I love every last one of you. All right, see where we end up here then. This could be funky. I don't even know if I can car camp here tonight. It says there's a sign saying you can't, but yeah, man, I'm just gonna go for it anyway, I think. Hey. Bomb chin on the road, dude. No way he was gonna give way. <laughs> oh mate, two and a half miles to go and now two and a half miles of nightmare single track. Do like look at this one. Not many places to pull off. All downhill as well. Oh, I guess I'm gonna be coming up at some point. Nearly there! Mate, I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty freaking intense road man. It's wet, covered in shiznit, and I'm in first gear at the minute. I'm like, yeah. Not, not overly keen on this one. Bit tasty. Aye, aye, aye. I did read on the uh, part for night app actually that the lead in was a little bit tasty. It said, don't try it if you're not in a car. And Geezer was saying he came down here in a van and um, he had to get towed out by the farmer. <laughs> Nightmare, poor guy, man. No way, mate. Check this out. These council houses. Oh, I assume they are, but whatever. There's a village here. Oh my days, imagine living here. With a road like that leading him for about four miles. God blimey. Oh, however many miles it was. Oof. Linny Fan. Here we go. I think that's the name of the lake. And I've got to be honest, as much as I'd love to, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of the mountains around there. <sighs> Blow me away. There's like about 30 letters in them. It's one of them Welsh names, you know. <laughs> well, this is the road then. This is the last little stint, uh, about 500 metres. I missed it, but I've just seen a sign I've never seen before. A 10 mile an hour speed limit on a road. <laughs> it's a bit sketchy, you know. Oh, mate, this don't look great. There's a little road goes down there. I don't know if I can drive down there. This area must be kept clear for emergency vehicles. 
but this is the area. Look, there's buildings here, man. Oh, no camping. Look at that. Straight away, man, there's a no camping sign. Son of a gun. Mate, this is not a road. Well, I mean, it is. It's a track, you know. Like, if you've got four before and some nice off road wheels, happy Larry. But, um, yeah, the old Zaffy's not liking it, mate. Damn, 140 yards, come on. The long 140 yards. I can hear things rattling, that's what I'm worried about. I know I've got that heat shield on the exhaust that's dead loose and rattles, so kind of makes some noise, but a noise travels, eh? I keep hearing things under the front, but it's probably that on the back. Oh man, oh, it looks like we've got a camper here, though. Oh mate, I don't know where I want to park, but I'm just going to pull up and then have a bunch this round. What a spot though, look at this. Legend. Right, let's not fidaddle around. We've made absolute bag of poo time getting here. It's three o'clock now. I think we just get a shiznit together and get on the trail. Let's do it. I'm sorry, there's no way of avoiding it. You might get a bit of a soggy muff today. Oh, the battery's going again. Ah, game on then. Let's go have a little sniff around. I gotta be honest though, with this trip, I'm playing the whole thing by ear, to be fair. No idea how long I'm going to be down here and not too many plans as to what I'm doing. I'm piecing it together as I go along. I'm actually hoping the guy down in Pembrokeshire can give me a few tips on where to stay. Like maybe a wild camp if the weather holds out or some car camping spots when I'm down there. But today again, I'm kind of playing it by ear with the weather and the time. Originally, I was going to do like a five, six hour hike around here and cover four peaks. And then I decided one peak and a two, three hour hike was the way to go. Now I think we'll just go take a look at the boffy and have a sniff around the lake. Which looks fantastic by the way, and you know, you know, there's always another time. Also, I just spoke to a guy that's just come down off the ridge. And let's be honest, look, it's pretty foggy. You don't want to waste that view, do you? You're not getting it today, so. Let's use our noggins for a change, eh? We'll have a sniff around and uh, make a plan for another time. In all fairness, this is only ever going to be like a sneaky little pit stop overnight just to sort of break the distance up, if I'm honest, because I didn't want to drive 250 miles and seven hours in one go. Oh, it's only been a week since the trip down into the Snowdonia area, but I've got to tell you, already feeling good, man. Look at this mist, like, sitting on top of the hill behind me. Pretty cool. To be honest, I'm not too fussed about the weather today, how it is. Pretty sweet. I mean, look at this trail, man. We completely got it to ourselves. Ah, one good thing about misty and drizzly weather, there's plenty of water in the river. It gets nice little waterfall things going on like that. Ah, tasty. Proper nice area, this. To be honest, I struggled to kind of find hikes around here. I don't know what was going on. I tried the Komoo app. I don't know if it's had some weird update or something, but it wasn't playing ball like it used to. You normally like, you just put an area in and then you get like all the hikes and so forth, but I was having to zoom into the map, so to be honest, all trails got the thumbs up for this one. Did it? Ah, oh, check this thing out. I have no idea what it is, but I saw the little peak as I was coming up the hill. It's like a false ridge, man. I thought it was the boffer. We've never been halfway yet. Yeah, there yet. Check this. It's a garage <laughs> for storing cars. Ah, oh, mate. There's no access to the house, but it's got parking. It's a little way off the, uh, off the land, though, you know. I'm guessing it's for the Ranger or whatever around here. They must have like some four befores or some ink or some quads, you know. Just looking at this. Looks pretty cool. Plenty of water gushing down. Let's have a little look. I'm guessing this is like some sort of pump house, maybe. It's like a sluice gate. Ooh, check me with the big words. Probably not now. <laughs> Ah, it's nice though. Look at this oldie worldy building. Pretty cool. <laughs> Not a bad spot. Alright, let's keep moving. Mmm, well, whatever's going on in there, they don't want us being privy to it. Maybe a military base, alien hangout. Or maybe just a pump house that they don't want knobheads dealing with or messing with. What? <laughs> you do. Okay, now I'm baffled because that looks like some sort of fishery thing going on. I have no idea. What's the local fish in the Brecon Beacons? <laughs> Does it look like a fish farm of sorts though, huh? 
and he got the feed. That's a fish farm, for sure. I'd like to know what fish it is though. Must be edible like trout or something, okay? I guess. In the fresh waters of the Brecon Beacon. It's not much of a fish farm either, is it? I mean, not many fish in that if it is. Bless him though. It's not all about the size, you know. Sometimes it's just about the effort. <laughs> Who am I trying to kid? <laughs> Check this out, there's all drains and something in there that's locked up that I'm not too sure what it is, but all right, so you're pumping water down here, you're doing something with the water, drainage and whatnot. For what? There's nothing down there. There's that farm where two people live and them two massive dogs, but oh, I don't get it. I'm a little bit mind blown. Something going on. Might not just be fishes. Oh wow, check this little pool out. I'm not being funny, but that looks, that looks like a dipping. Dipping spot for a wild swim, you know, in the summer. Real nice, shallow. Just get in there, sit in there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit miffed. I didn't do a bit of a wild swim on that last trip. I really fancy doing it on the last day. I just didn't get around to it in the end. I'll tell you what though, with the summer coming, definitely having a bit of wild swimming this season. 100%. Oh wow, mate, that was a good hike up. It's warmed me up, something rotten, but uh, check this fog, man. It would have been a nice hike up. It looked like there was sort of hills and stuff, each side all rolling. Would have been pretty nice, but uh, saw none of it. But, oh yes, we found the boffer. Bingo. All right, let's go check it out, mate. This looks uh, rather tidy. I'd had low expectations for this one, if I'm truly honest. From what I gather, there's no windows and just a door and it's just one room. So it looks a bit dingy, do you know what I mean? But now we're here taking a look at it. It looks like they've done it up and it looks quite tidy. So one weird ass thing though, that I wish they hadn't put there. It looks really weird. Fucking multicolored sign, man. I mean, you want that shot where it's in the middle of nowhere, don't you? You know, and yeah, there it is but not there. <laughs> oh, this thing looks pretty cool. It does look dingy and it does look damp and not warm, but uh, yeah, let's have a look. Might actually put my light on, to be fair. Me, I brought the light, but I didn't bring the thing to attach it to the camera, so I'll use some improvisation and I'll use my hand. To be honest, like now I'm here, looking round, it doesn't look too bad. Um, I'd have first thought about like, if you're gonna sleep in here, I'd possibly sleep on one of these benches. This one's definitely way too thin. I think you're rolling off that in the night. What's that on there? Is that rat poo or something? No, it's paint. I don't wanna see no rat poo or nothing like that. Why didn't you leave the door open? Maybe to air it. This one looks thicker though. You might get away with sleeping on here, but open fire as well. Obviously I haven't got any wood with me either. It's a bit of a bummer, but um, it looks nice now, but how's it gonna look at night when it's absolutely pitch black around here? It's gonna feel really sketchy, isn't it? With no windows and no light whatsoever. I mean, it is pretty basic. Still though, maybe a possible option to stay in here, like if we came back and did those mountains, but I do think you'd probably wanna pitch a tent in the corner somewhere or on the floor, which yeah, it could be quite cold, but you know, with the right equipment, could be all right, could be all right. It's an option, possibly, but I think more option now is getting a brew on and warming up in here and uh, chilling out the rain in the boffy, because that's what you do in here, you do. best idea flying the drone in the rain i hope it dries out all right especially after like i opened it up to fix one of the legs on it a few months ago might have a few holes where the water might get in but i do think we made a good decision not hiking around the mountain today um i mean just saying like <laughs> it may have been pretty funny but i don't think it would be very viewtastic to be fair so look at this man like this is the lake 
I have no idea how big this lake is. I've never been here before, but um, dude, it's like about a 30 meter visibility here. We're not seeing a lot. This is proper, like, I guess, really, what these boffies are all about, like bleak ass weather like this and a little bit of shelter to, to bed down for the night. Pretty cool. But not tonight for me. And I gotta be honest, like as nice as it is, it would be pretty cold tonight. It is frazzling at the minute, especially with no wood. And on top of that, <laughs> I've got a toasty warm car to snuggle up into tonight. So I think what I'm gonna do, cause you know, <laughs> ain't much of a view here. I'm gonna bosh back to the car because it's Monday and that's pizza night. So let's get a pizza on. <laughs> Yeah, good news then. I've actually got some proper pizza though. I've seen somebody do this on a Ridge Monkey already. I say I've seen somebody do it on a Ridge Monkey. I saw a picture of somebody doing it, so I haven't got a clue how they did it, to be honest. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare. We'll see how we go. Also, totally off subject, the new haircut. Some of you left a comment about it. Thanks very much. I'm pleased with it myself. But more importantly, a little bit of a life hack or life tip here because I was checking it on that money saving expert thing, website -y thing, and I didn't see it on there. Guys, here's one. Let it grow out three or four months. It might look a bit beshaggled. You might need to wear a hat here and there or mainly when you just leave the house because it looks mad. But boy, oh boy, believe me, when you go in that hairdressers and you sit down, you're going to feel good knowing truly, fully well that you're getting your money's worth. Just leaving that out there for you guys, you know, helping you out. What can I do? Right, pizza. Well, here's the thing then. Even though I've got all the ingredients for tonight, I've actually forgot half the utensils. I haven't got the cheese grater and I haven't got a rolling pin. So... For the second time today, I'm going to improvise and use a can of B.O. Bash. Yeah, you do. Also, while the brain's working in such an astute type of manner, I've got something to tell you. Okay, for those of you that are not familiar for the channel, I'll kind of fill you in on what we're doing. I'm essentially trying to make enough cheese to survive outside of a normal grind. And I'm going internet type base. So I've devised what I'm calling an only feet Hobbiters Maximus website, which is essentially like for people that like hairy feet. Now, I got banned from normal internet, so we've taken it to the dark web. We've created a cryptocurrency for payment named the NSS, the National Stealth Service. And I've also secured a model with hairy feet, be it that she's female, you do. And now, I've got a location. Oh yeah, people, it's gonna happen. I can't tell you when, or how, or what, but in the near future, I'm gonna bring you along. You're gonna be privy to the first ever's only feet photo shoot on location in the wilderness. All right. All right, pizza. And to be fair, I might give this a bit of a antiseptic white white. <laughs> I don't even know where this thing's been, man. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit more of the old red sauce on top, and then, ah, oh, look at this bad boy. This is pretty damn cool, man. I'm, I'm kind of psyched that I thought about doing it like this. And, oh, not like that. I guess I can just piece it together and pinch it together now. Oops, oops, oops. Yeah, that'll work. I'll, yeah, something like that. You do. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So the more astute of you and regular to the channel may have noticed in the last clip, the blue rubber gloves. Yo, you guys have been telling me for a year to get some rubber gloves. And i got to say, Lisa, you made it happen. Guys, in the comments, let's show some love to Lisa and a big thanks for actually making the gloves happen. They feel amazing. And more importantly, they keep the meat jizz off my fingers. I haven't got a clue how long this is going to take, but I'm most definitely putting it on the lowest heat possible. Barely barely a flame fingers crossed oh, i haven't got scooby-doo how i'm gonna get it out of here but <laughs> oh, i guess i could try and oh that might actually work i got one corner that's just boshed out a little bit i really don't know how i can get this out maybe if i flip it 
<laughs> One thing's for sure, it does look cooked. Oh wait, this is gonna work. Yeah, mate, look at that bad boy. It's not so much can learning, more of a pizza pie. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be hot in the middle. All right, it's a, it's a well done bait, you know. Mate, I don't know where I wanna start. Oh, it's oozing. Oh, wow, this looks good, you know. It's just ingredients wrapped in dairy bread, eh? I, I wanted to make sure it was hot inside. That looks like molten lava. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, I think it could do with about another five minutes. I just think the dough needs cooking a little bit more. Maybe it'll just do it too thick, but not a bad first attempt. Yeah, let me crack it open for you so you can see it properly. It's like a big toasted cheese sandwich. It is like a massive cheese toaster. Ta-da! Badass. Oh! You know, it's hot, though. Right, I'm going to munch you up. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. Oh, mate, the belly's so full. I'm just hoping that don't start swelling while I'm, like, left it in my belly because it wasn't quite cooked enough. It was all right. It was pretty good. But, yeah, it needed a few more minutes next time. And maybe next time I just do pizza, not cannelloni. But I think what I'm going to do is get this really bright light off because oh, it's blinding me and it's probably boshing down to that farm. I'm going to get everything set up in here and just get down for the night. I haven't seen anyone else here since that van pulled off like four hours ago, but... I think it's going to be alright, there's no phone signal. i got a couple of things downloaded. I think it's going to be an early night. And I'll catch you guys in the morning for the trip to Pembrokeshire. Oh, it's going to be a blast. Should be a good drive as well. Should be great scenery, so see you in the morning. Morning. Oh, well, check this out. I mean, I don't want to be pointing a camera at people, but all these kids are from Rutland in the East Midlands. They're doing the Duke of Edinburgh Award. I don't know what medal they're doing. They do a bronze, silver, and gold. That's something I always wanted to do as a kid. Would have been fantastic. My parents never pushed me for that, but I gotta say, though, they were up on the mountain last night and it was bleak, cold, and wet, and they all said that. They, they did all right, but it wasn't a nice night for them. Bless them, mate. It's getting a bit late. I think it's about 11 o'clock now. I was hoping to get down there for about midday, but I think it's more likely going to be about two o'clock. I do have one problem though. There's absolutely no phone signal here whatsoever. I couldn't drive out and see if I could get one, but I don't know which way to go. So I think I can get one somewhere around here. Hang on a minute. Go on. Ooh, tell you what, the weather's taking a turn for the worse. It's a bit gray and a bit grim and damn cold. And I'll tell you what else has turned. My stomach. Reality's a car camping. Man, I'll, I really need to find a toilet. I had considered doing a wild poo around here, but it's such a beautiful area, I didn't want to do it. So, I'm well, definitely going to have to find somewhere on the way. I've been trying to stave it off since about 8 o'clock last night. It ain't good. I've done a couple of laps around the car park. It's not happening, though. I think we need to go quick. Let's go. Oh, bar poo. <laughs> oh, mate. Yards, turn left. Oh, Satnav's having a giraffe. She's with us. She's with us. By oh, luck of the road, mate. I forgot. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of these type of roads. These are the type of roads that end up like you rip your exhaust off or something, you know. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, finally, I got a phone signal, man, as I'm coming down the Dales and Hills. I've managed to call the dude. John is his name. I'm sure he won't mind me putting his name on the channel. But, um, quite a funny one being me typically like this has been organized sort of for a couple of weeks now and I've drove nearly 200 miles spent the night overnight in the Brecon Beacons planning to get down there today to pick it up and of course he told me he got the box and he'd already told me he got like these bracket things but what I forgot to ask him is 
does he have the balls that the thing attaches to? And it's been weeks, you know, just so typical of me. Good news is, he's got the balls as well. Mate, this guy, you, John, mate, big shout, legend, absolute. I can't express how happy I am about this at the minute. This is beyond game changing, and it really is gonna like allow us to do some mega trips. And I've got one planned. I'm gonna dub it <laughs> when it comes out, the tax rebate trip, simply because, you know, you know, I'm gonna get a tax rebate and not too much of a story, but I might have a little bit of money left over from it that's gonna allow us to go and do Scotland. And I've always said if we go Scotland, it needs minimum 10 days. So I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna do a two week trip up there. So that's coming up and this roof box is gonna make it possible. So John, mate, super legend, absolutely, mate. Big love. I'm praying the weather's gonna hold out. I think it might like turn tomorrow, but either way, I'm, I'm gonna try and spend a couple of days down in Pembrokeshire. Damn, is that how my hair looks without the hat on? I look like Sport Billy or something. <laughs> Remember that one, Sport Billy? And the dude, the cartoon, and he just used to pull stuff out his bag, like, I need a tennis racket, boom, and then he'd be like, I need a speedboat, and he'd pull a speedboat out of the bag or something. Just to save the day, like one of them superhero cartoons, but Sport Belly. Whoever thought of that one? Weird notion, you know. Oh, Banana Man. Oh, <laughs> you got to remember Banana Man. That was proper cheesy. Uh, anyway, yeah, I digress. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh, I'll tell you what, my smile's growing from here to here a little bit. Look at this little spot of a village, mate. Ah, oh, tunes are good as well. Looks a nice, nice little area, doesn't it? Oh, mate, it's in the middle of nowhere. I'd love it, I'd love it. One day, one day. <laughs> sat and have knows where it's going because Tweedidly we what is the name of that place? St. David's. That was on there. I read that bit. <laughs> I haven't got a clue where we are. Is it near Tembe? I think we might be somewhere near Tembe. I've heard good reports of Tembe. If I'm honest. Wouldn't mind checking it out while we're down here if I'm honest. The A487 you know. Oh let's see we've got signs. Let's see what we got. We've got Newgate Solfax Solver and Twilly Wee. <laughs> what was that? I can't read it. <laughs> oh, it's looking good though. And, oh, let's be honest, the views are opening up a little bit. This is what we're expecting from Pembrokeshire. Beautiful green areas and an amazing, stunning coastline. Got to get a bit of that while we're down here. Oh, it's going to be good. Hey, look, the Falcon Bridge. Anyone know that? Can you believe it? Look at this. Not even a sneaky shot of the coastline, an absolute blistastic shot. We gotta pull up, man. <gasps> no way, there's a beach. Oh my days. I might have just found my spot for the night. Oh, it's not level, but I could live with that. Oh my days. This is insane. Look at that for a shot. Look at that little village down there. Oh, this is stunning. Imagine this in blistering summer's weather. Oof. Okay, so in all honesty, what I think I'm gonna do from this point is I'm gonna go see the guy and check out the roof rack and all the rest of it and see if it fits. I don't know how the guy feels about being on camera. So if he's all right being on camera, we'll get some shots. And if not, hopefully I'll see you after with a new roof box on the car. Wow, fingers crossed it all fits. Let's see how we go. Oh mate, all the way down to Pembrokeshire to get a roof box and we got it! Yeah. Totally psyched mate, really am. Absolutely fantastic. Pure, pure game changer. I don't know how big it is, but it's big. I could almost sleep in that thing, I'm not going to lie. And maybe I will do it one night, see how we go. But check it out, what a spot. What a spot. And what a spot, I think to end this episode. Appreciate it, it's been a bit of a random one. We had a nice hike, we found a nice car camping spot, but the mission is complete. We got the roof box. John, 
You're an absolute legend, mate. And because I'm down in Pembrokeshire, oh mate, I've got a few funky plans. I've got a sick little car camping spot for tonight, and the weather's holding out. I've got a legendary wild camping spot for tomorrow. That's all coming up in the next two videos, guys. As for now, I really, really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep you all serious, and definitely hit me in the comments. I love reading those. And as always, you know you know. Take it easy, enjoy the camp, and stay stealthy. Alright!